Let's talk about something scary, but really interesting. World War III is a terrifying possibility. But what if I told you there are places you could go to survive? Stick around to find out where you need to be if things go sideways. Let's be real. Nobody wants to think about a global conflict, but it's always better to be prepared, right? So we're going to rank the top five safest countries to hide out in if, God forbid, World War III breaks out. Think of this as a survival guide, but for a scenario we all hope never happens. We're talking remote locations, political stability, self-sufficiency, all the things that could make a difference when the world's gone crazy. From the islands of Fiji to the glaciers of Iceland, think beyond bunkers and stockpiles. We're exploring hidden pockets of resilience where communities are ready to thrive even when the world falls apart. We'll be looking at factors like food security, natural resources, and even the weather. Forget everything you thought you knew about safe havens. These locations are going to blow your mind. Get ready for some serious surprises. First up, we're heading down under to New Zealand, a country known for its stunning landscapes, adventurous spirit, and sheep. Lots and lots of sheep. But beyond its beauty, New Zealand holds some serious strategic advantages when it comes to global catastrophes. First off, it's remote, like really remote. Located in the South Pacific, New Zealand is thousands of miles away from major global powers. This geographical isolation makes it a less likely target for a direct attack, especially if things go nuclear. And in a worst case scenario, being far away from the action is a good thing, but remoteness isn't everything. New Zealand is also incredibly self-sufficient when it comes to food production. With fertile land and a temperate climate, they're able to grow a wide variety of crops and livestock. They could practically feed their entire population on their own if they had to. And let's not forget about political stability. New Zealand consistently ranks as one of the least corrupt and most peaceful countries in the world. In times of crisis, a stable government and a united population are invaluable assets. Next, we're traveling to the land of fire and ice, Iceland. This Nordic island nation might seem like an unlikely haven, but don't let the volcanoes and glaciers fool you. Iceland has a few tricks up its sleeve. For starters, it's one of the most isolated countries in the world. Located in the North Atlantic, Iceland is a good distance from major population centers. This isolation, combined with its rugged terrain, makes it a difficult target to invade and occupy. But Iceland's not just about isolation, they've got infrastructure on lock. We're talking about a highly developed country with a strong emphasis on renewable energy. They're practically self-sufficient when it comes to power, thanks to their geothermal and hydroelectric resources. And in a world facing uncertainty, Iceland offers something else, a sense of community. Icelanders are known for their resilience, resourcefulness, and strong social bonds. In a crisis, these qualities would be essential for survival. Next up is Malta, the Mediterranean fortress. Now let's head south to the heart of the Mediterranean Sea, to the island nation of Malta. This tiny archipelago might not seem like much, but its strategic location and historical resilience make it a surprisingly strong contender in our survival list. Throughout history, Malta has been a coveted prize for empires and conquerors. Its location in the central Mediterranean makes it a gateway between Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. But this strategic importance has also forced Malta to develop strong defenses and a resilient spirit. Malta boasts a robust healthcare system, which is crucial in any crisis, let alone a global conflict. They've got a high standard of medical care and a well-equipped infrastructure to handle emergencies. And let's not forget about the weather. Malta enjoys a Mediterranean climate with mild winters and hot summers. This means they've got a long growing season and access to fresh produce year round. Plus, who wouldn't want to wait out a global crisis on a sunny Mediterranean island? While the world descends into darkness, you find yourself in a haven of light. Imagine waking up in Cape Town surrounded by stunning natural beauty and a vibrant culture that refuses to be extinguished. This city offers a unique blend of sanctuary and resilience. You might not expect to find a safe haven at the southern tip of Africa, but this vibrant city has a lot to offer those seeking refuge in a time of crisis. Known for its stunning natural beauty, diverse culture, and entrepreneurial spirit, Cape Town offers a unique blend of urban excitement and natural escape. Cape Town's geographical location is a major plus. Situated on the southwestern coast of South Africa, it's relatively isolated from major global conflicts. The vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean acts as a natural barrier, providing a level of protection that's hard to beat. But Cape Town's not just about location. It's a city with a strong sense of community and a history of overcoming challenges. From apartheid to natural disasters, the people of Cape Town have faced adversity head-on and emerged stronger. 
And let's not forget about the natural resources. South Africa is rich in mineral wealth, and Cape Town benefits from this abundance. They've got access to essential resources like gold, platinum, and diamonds, which could be invaluable in a post-collapse world. Fiji paradise found, and hopefully still standing. Finally, we're journeying to the tropical paradise of Fiji, an archipelago of over 300 islands in the heart of the South Pacific. Known for its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and laid back lifestyle, Fiji might seem like a dream vacation spot, but it also holds potential as a safe haven. Fiji's remoteness is its biggest asset. Located thousands of miles from major continents, it's about as far away from global conflict as you can get. This isolation makes it an unlikely target for attack and provides a natural buffer from the chaos of the outside world. But Fiji is not just about beaches and sunshine. The Fijian people are known for their warmth, hospitality, and strong sense of community. In a crisis, these qualities would be essential for survival. Imagine a world where cooperation and kindness are the norm, not the exception. And let's not forget about the abundance of natural resources. Fiji is a tropical paradise with fertile land, plentiful seafood, and a year-round growing season. They could easily sustain themselves with their own food production and natural resources. So, there you have it. Our top five picks for the safest countries if the unthinkable happens and World War III erupts. It's a chilling thought, but it's always better to be prepared. From the remote islands of Fiji to the glaciers of Iceland, each of these countries offers a unique set of advantages for surviving a global catastrophe. But remember, this is just a hypothetical scenario. The best way to prevent World War III is to work towards peace, understanding, and cooperation between nations. Let's hope we never have to put this list to the test. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to let me know in the comments below which country you'd choose and why. Stay safe out there, and as always, thanks for watching.